We're based in the Midlands in Redditch in Worcestershire, and it's uh, um, quite an intensive setup, but uh, we're trying to use a lot less feed now by improving our grass lays. We've got 1,150 sheep in total, of which uh, 900 breeding ewes, 242 ewe lambs, um, 120 of those ewe lambs are bought in replacements. Um, North Country mules and Dales mules, and there's also 122 Texel Cross ewe lambs that are own placements from uh, from last year's flock. Canning this year took place in uh, two lots, the early lots, in which we're going to be lambing in mid-Feb. Those are the Texel Cross ewes, and they scan at 215%, and there, there was 52 of those with no baroners. Um, that was absolutely fantastic. Very, very happy with those. That probably coincided with when the grass was growing really well back in the autumn. Um, and the main uh, scanning took place last week. Again, fantastic results. Uh, 10% up on last year. The only caveat was the mule ewe lambs. Great scanning results, but we had too many baroners. Um, the actual scanning was 226%. Very, very good. But we had 20% baroners, which is uh, probably 10 or 12% too many. So we're actually doing blood tests on on those on Friday, find out what the issue was uh, with that, whether it's to do with the ewe lambs or whether it's to do with because I put two old rams in with them rather than two young rams. But the main flock was absolutely brilliant. So it was 10% up, 215 across the board. If we categorise it down, the yearlings achieved my long-term goal of doing 201%, which was just absolutely brilliant. And the ewes were, were a lot more than that. All the ewe lambs go out with a single that can. We don't leave doubles on. Again, we have got two automatic milk feeders that can look after the lambs when they're taken off. It's very hard for ewe lambs to look after two lambs because she's trying to grow herself and grow the lambs. And it's just very, very hard to do with two lambs. We always take one off to leave her with one. And then she just she's a bigger ewe then as a yearling to give more lambs then. And, and she can look after them better. The scanning gives us a, a great management tool. You can see how your ewes are doing. Um, you can see what they're producing, whether you've got things right. As long as you can't use are producing your scanning percentages that you're looking for. I say whether it's 180% or whether it's 220%, uh, as long as you're happy with kind of what you're getting off your farm, then uh, then put your ewes into groups, whether it's in triplets, doubles and singles, or what we do, we actually do them in kind of weight groups. We'll do them in, in kind of, kind of doubles and triplets, but our, our main group group criteria it is in weight and body condition score and some users will carry triplets very very easily some use car struggle carrying a single so and, and there's a huge amount of bullying goes on in the in the car sheep world when they're inside um, so if a big ewe is bullying out a, a car small single and um, then all those small ewes need to be in a group together so you can look after them um, kind of give them different food um, but they can also take their time over eating themselves. Scanning will give you exactly how your flock's doing, but with the automatic weigher, you can have them in, in different groups. So you are keeping your, your kind of size of use together. It's only in the kind of last three weeks that then you can kind of start and look at kind of taking your triplets out, your, your kind of doubles out. Yeah, with the body condition score as well, that's very important. And um, the weight does probably 90% of the time correspond with the body condition score, but sometimes you will go through and find a big lean you. Um, you're kind of looking for a body condition score of between three and a half and four, uh, just to give them the kind of best fuel for lambing time when it's needed in the last month of it. We've been doing scanning about about 10 years now, 10, 12 years, and I would not go away from it. It's a, it's a brilliant management tool. You know what the sheep are doing, and it's, it just kind of gives you the insight of kind of knowing how the sheep are performing. It is an expense. It's £600 a year for us you now to kind of scan all of ours, but we'll get that back and a lot more with management tools.